and welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Sentinel Seekers. That's going to be our uh, next meme tier deck. This one is, you know, we're calling it Sentinel Seekers. It's a Lux Senna uh, deck where we're calling it that because we're going to be playing a lot of Sentinels. Buru Sentinel, Solari Sentinel, Burgeoning Sentinel, and then we're going to have the Mage Seekers as well. You know, Mage Seeker Conservator, Mage Seeker Persuader, and Mage Seeker Inciter. So combining those two together, plus Senna was the Sentinel of Light, um, I suppose, uh, you know, until Thresh, but, you know, another Sentinel there. Um, so it's just going to be, you know, a nice little deck here. It's going to be, you know, kind of aggressive, um, you know, with having, you know, it's, so it'll be, it'll be pretty mid-rangey, but it'll have aggressive elements and proactive elements with these sentinels that you know will be able to be fearsome and they'll grow whenever we slay uh, our mage seekers are going to uh, be growing whenever we cast a six plus cost spell you know like this thing's gonna be a four man a six six like that's pretty big you know and then we'll have um both of our champions that you know uh deal with spells you know lux wants us to spend spell mana so we can make final sparks senna wants us to, you know does create darkness which that's like three spell mana for our lux and we want to slay units we can slay units with the final sparks, so they work well together. Remembrance is going to be a good um, early spell that's going to be 6 plus cost mana that we can play to help enable the Mage Seekers. Got just a lot of good stuff going on here. Even have a catalog that could, you know, create, um, you know, new darkness or, you know, any other kind of, you know, any of these other kind of spells as well. So let's give it a try. We're just calling it Sentinel Seekers. We're going to play it on over in normal and we'll go play five games with it. Okay, Ash LeBlanc with a Sejuani. So this is a deck that's probably targeted to defeat... Um, I kind of keep this hand. It's a, it's a deck that's going to be targeted to defeat dragons, right? Like with Frostbiting the dragons and then Culling Strikes and that kind of stuff. So we need... Oh... Alright, maybe we pass. I was gonna say we need this Mage Seeker Conservator to die to make a six cost spell for these these persuaders. But now we have a six plus cost spell with this piercing darkness. Is this do I want to play the piercing darkness on three? Take a look at this. Time to get my hands dirty. They could be scared of Remembrance. No, oh, here comes the block. <laughs> Reckoning? That's like the worst spell. Like, that's the worst matchup for Reckoning. Like, they're a Reckoning deck. <laughs> you can't Reckoning a Reckoning deck. There's Remembrance. So if they would have played Ash before attack, you know, that's what was, you know, we would have Piercing Darkness the Ash. You know, but now we'll just play six cost Remembrance and uh, get the plus one plus one on the Conservator now. I don't really love any play that I have. Sharpen the blade, secure the kill. Huh. Guess I'm the big I am scared of Culling Strike with Lux. Playing the Senna so we can fast speed Darkness, the Glory Seeker. Many tribes under one banner. Which I'm just gonna just do right now. Unfortunately, we don't have any other. You know, if they if they save the elixir vine or anything, you know, like we don't have a vile feast or anything like that, unfortunately. Yeah, they did. I was scared they're gonna do that. Make the hurt your weapon. I'll cut them apart. Face me. Our banner will lead the way. Do your worst. There is light yet within me. 
This gives us 8 mana next round, so enough for a Lux plus a Darkness. Confine and contain. Vicious. Our stuff's too big. Justice. Let's just end round. They want to end round. They waste a lot of mana. It's not that much damage. Magic is insidious. So we stay vigilant. Magic stops with me. I think they have, you know, other like troll chant type cards. Yeah, flash freeze, right? Like they they wanted me to trade six the two six sixes. Okay, got a calling strike out of their hand. That's good news. Now we have twelve mana. Wait, what is this thing? An ally strikes an enemy if the if its multi region strikes the enemy again. Huh. I just realized that was in our hand. The sun is shining. We should too. Hopefully they don't have another calling strike or reckoning. Well. Alright, so we'll have you. Strike you. We're doing a lot better card-wise, right? Like, they only have two cards. Um, but not all of our cards are super useful. Alright, so that's good. So now, future, you know, the next Lux won't be able to just die to Cooling Strike immediately. Because now it's going to have four, uh, four power, and so that's important. All right, got that thing out of here. Naga Kabura sends her blessing. Ooh, that's a good way to refill your hand. So the plan's reckoning, we can respond. <laughs> I mean, I guess it could be attacking with the Sen at the same time. Yeah, I don't... I don't know why I'm not attacking with the Sen also. This... Turn it against them. Could have another frostbite card and everything. Maybe we just pass. All the world on one arrow. Okay, so only two frostbite so far. I really want to play Lux first. It's kind of greedy, but I really want to play Lux. Um, let's see. If I play Lux, then they play Reckoning. I guess that's bad news, but I mean, we just clear the board completely. You know, like we piercing darkness and then uh, and then final spark and kill the yeti. So, Come on, you know. on the clock. Let the light guide you. please don't have reckoning. Please don't have reckoning. Victory requires a sharp blade. Okay, good. That's not reckoning. Good, good. 
So I assume that they have something that, you know, um, grows the health. It will only be two, like Elixir of Iron and, and Troll Chant only improve two health. So I think this Fast Speed Final Spark, like that's pretty cool getting Fast Speed Final Sparks now. So Fast Speed Final Spark should be able to take down the Glory Seeker and protect Senna. And then Senna will be two out of three. That's pretty cool. Alright, so Santa putting in work. This gets me another final spark. Darkness and light. I see all. You have no alibi. Keep your distance. Yeah. All right, so the harsh wind's the wrong thing. Harsh, harsh windsing the persuader doesn't matter. We are the light. We are the dark. Really, those were the two worst things to frostbite, right? Yeah. We just save. We save more life. They would just frostbite the other things. But that's fine. This is looking good. Go back to our round. And attack. Alright. That was pretty cool. Senate and Lux together. They look good. Sentinel Seekers. <laughs> like Martin Thomas saying, Hawk's reaction to Double Tap's existence was an accurate one. <laughs> yeah, I was like, wait, that card exists? Uh... Riven Victor. I guess we'll send the Persuader back for now. We you know, don't have a 6 plus cost spell. It doesn't look like we're going to have one in the near future. If we didn't have the attack token, I would not play the Sentinel. But since we have the attack token, we'll go ahead and play it. Because if we wait till you know next round, we'll be able to play it and then enable the Nightfall. Which we can do. We can do that in the future with Conservator Horror anyway. My poor Sentinel. Break the ties that bind. I'll save all the spell mana. There we go. There we go. Take a look at this. No turning back now. What conflict awaits? That was a good attack with the 3 1. The sea is too shallow a grave. I was saying they wouldn't attack with the 3 1 being scared, but they did. That was a good attack with that. I want this Sentinel turn into a 5 4. Aggro Lux. By her will. All right, down to ten with our Aggro Lux deck. Okay, so unlicensed innovation. We'll make a 5-5. Five five. And a final spark. We can try to kill either champion with the final spark. Riven would be the one that, you know, probably not, considering they can um, just 
Ooh, okay. So yeah, we'll probably... Because they have the other blade in hand. Victor has lifesteal. Alright, we'll go after Victor. And there we go. Getting rid of the lifesteal Victor. Because we can take a hit from Riven and then swing back. With them being at uh, 10. Katarina Yasubo. Very cool champion combination for the opponent. The box is good against Katarina and not so good against Yasuo. I like Remembrance. I kind of want to just keep Remembrance and send the rest back and just kind of see what happens from there. Vengeance can be good against Yasuo. I got nothing to do that's too bad. I got nothing to do that's too bad. I got nothing to do that's too bad. All right, so now this is where I want to slam Remembrance, but I didn't play Remembrance right there because of Deny. So I was a little worried about Deny. Uh, playing Sentinel and then Darkness to shoot Katarina was also kind of an interesting option. So the Radiant Guardian, of course, is the worst hit off of that. That's fine. Denounce magic. Never play fair. Confine and they're going real aggro. Are they just gonna be attacking with Katarina? Like, sure. You don't put it back. You know, just spend four mana to do four damage to me, but and that's it. I mean, I'm putting a lot of stuff out here. Down to six. The world waits, begging for dominion. The sun is shining. We should too. Definitely wish we had, you know, vengeance mana next round. Uh, like a piercing darkness would be a good draw. With me. That thing's fearsome. That thing's kind of big. Hold back the darkness. There is light yet within me. Alright, so that stuns the weakest enemy. Round start. I think it's done the little 1-1. One, one. Um, if they would have passed here, I would have just also passed back in, in everything, but... Oh, that's good for me. You know, it wasn't even a, like, twin discipline, so that thing still basically dies. We don't get any mana towards the Lux level up, but... We can just go ahead and attack. See what happens. Will and Palm. All right, so we can, ah, oh, so close to killing them. Put them down to like, what, like one? All right, so we're gonna Vengeance this thing. Which levels up Lux, gets us the final spark. Um, basically doing this because they're also putting the 3-2 in play. Now this thing will be attacking for 3. So that puts him down to 3. And now we can shoot the 3-2. And put him down to 1. Super close? Alright. They think that that's close enough. Aggro Lux getting it done. Good vengeance there. And we are 3 and 0. Oh. Okay, so we got another Senna deck. They're going Senna Ash. Um, I'm going to keep Lux and send these back. Maybe we should keep Senna also. I just don't want to keep two fives. Yeah, Solari Sentinel should have Daybreak, shouldn't it? You know, considering it's Solari Sentinel. That should be a Daybreak card. Maybe it could be a 3 mana 3-3 three, three Daybreak created Darkness. Control the mages. Keep the peace. Not 
am ready. Rude. So that's the correct thing to frostbite because you don't want to frostbite the three two because then I get to attack for one and and uh, you know they take one. You frostbite the one one because they want to make that trade of those two things. I am here until I am no more. Halt. I wouldn't think they would miss call. Brittle steel. That is. I don't agree with that play from the opponent. <laughs> I think Brittle Steel is a pretty valuable card, especially when they're looking at a card that could be a 4-3 challenger. I don't think that that's a card that's worth a Brittle Steel right there. I'm not going to attack because of Ash. Because Ash attack Frostbite's one of these, and then I can have the other one block Ash. I guess it's going to Frostbite the, the Solari Sentinel, and so we have to block with the Persuader. That makes sense, they got more of those. Man, I want to get Lux in play before we start playing spells, but I also want to play spells while we make more copies. Oh, what to do, what to do, what to do. Oh, what to do, what to do, what to do. Let's get Lux in play. Hey, what's up, FEM? Glad to have you here. The time is right. Strike now. So they're trying to level up Ash? True. Well, by trying, I mean succeeding. They are doing that. So we know their top card's now Crystal Arrow. Okay, good little combo there. And we know they have a Crystal Arrow on top. Oh. They now reveal that card, eh? Um, I'm worried about miscall, right? Like, I'm worried about, like, Piercing Darkness, the Ash, and they miscall it. Uh, I could see just kind of passing, or, you know, like, playing, like, a s Sentinel. Seven, eight. Okay. All right, we're going to go Mage Seeker, Mage Seeker, pass. Oh, but then we, we create cards in here. I shouldn't pass here. Or shouldn't do this line. I mean... Yeah, I should just Piercing Darkness because we, we create a new Piercing Darkness, I think. Huh. Guess I'm the big guns now. Draw from the light. Okay, new Vile Feast. I was thinking that that was going to be like Senna's champion spell. I was like, oh, that's a good spell. <laughs> you know, because like how the Senna's in play. Stand together. Keep your distance. Search them. Concentrated forgiveness. Man, Dragon's Rage is cool. Alright, we're definitely playing this. Naga Kabura sends her blessing. Make the hurt your weapon. Okay, so they still got Crystal Arrow and three cards we don't know about. How much do I need to be scared of harrowing and or like what can I do against harrowing? There's like not a lot to do there. But like, you know, like if they I guess we can kind of see if they trade here that it's definitely telling us they have harrowing. I 
Okay. That's not bad. We need like another one of those to protect against harrowing of having like double the box. Nothing escapes my watch. Magic has no place here. Senna, Nagakaburos would have me slay you. <laughs> Nagakaburos can get in line. <laughs> I want to take this out because that thing blocks fearsome. really need to do anything else. I kind of like these things staying staying alive, right, in case of um, harrowing, that those things are just in the way. Darkness and light. Yep, 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 yep. So we can... Almost kill them. Going oh, down to one. Like worst case scenario, I think we take seventeen. Like even if they, you know, like have like a frostbite spell there. Like, I don't think. They can kill us. What? Are you kidding me? The time is right. Strike now. What are you doing? Why don't you just... Yes, yeah, so we take 17. So like I said, this is the worst case scenario. Worst case scenario, we take 17. Um, which we can go 18 if we want to just kill this thing. Go to 1. I don't think there's any difference between being at 1 and being at 2, right? Like I don't think they're going to speak of horror. But it keeps them from drawing a card. They could have just kept their Ash alive and just had Ash in hand. Like, and frost, like, why didn't they just Frostbite in response to that Dragon's Rage? And then I wouldn't be leveling up Senna. I'll feel bad if they just have randomly have an Unspeakable Horror and then we lose. So, like, their best thing is, like, Harsh Winds, two of them, and then Flash Freeze, another. And or Try to Atrocity. But, like, you know, we get to... Wait, is this always... Oh, that... Is this still going to be slow? I guess I would have the Darkness for a, Atrocity. But, yeah, I guess they could have... They could have had a Darkness plus... Or, like, Atrocity plus Troll Chan. That could have killed me, too. Anyway. We win. We'll take it. All right, well, our Sentinel Seekers deck is overperforming, and we are 4-0 and o in normal. And as y'all know, if we're ever 4-0 and o with a meme tier deck in normal, then we take it on over to ranked to try to finish out that 5-0. And we'll see how this does. You know, it's, it's performing really well, but it is in normal. We're going to see how it performs in ranked for you. So here we go. 5 win dream still alive. And we got Lurkers. Okay, we can get some different... Spells that could help us against lurkers. We could be be okay for this matchup. I like burgeoning sentinel mage seeker. I kind of like all these. I think we send back the glimpse beyond. But I like all these. We want to play remembrance on three if possible. Ugh, I also want to block stuff and not give them super easy attacks. But yeah, that's, I think we have to just pass and um, play remembrance on three and then have. Mage Seeker and Scyther on four, which means that maybe we should be sending back this Sentinel. I 
Okay, we want 5-5 five, five tough. Or Screeching Dragon. One of those two. 5-5 five, five tough, Screeching Dragon. Alright, 5-5 five, five tough. Vanguard Cavalry. The card whose name we always remember. It can be undone. In, with remembrance. I'm gonna go wide. Well, I did say I wanted to see the world. World. Control the mages. Keep the peace. My call. You can't outrun justice. Nothing escapes my notice. Not so bad. That removal spell is, you know, pretty rough. And so getting rid of it for just like my two drop, and then you know it takes up their draw step again. Isn't so bad. Magic is insidious. So we stay vigilant. Senna. Hello, darkness, my old friend. No attacks pass. All right, they attacked. Could always hope. <laughs> it can be undone. Ooh. All right, so now just one card in hand. Magic stops with me. You know, they're going to have one random card plus a Rek'Sai. Man, how about that Mage Seeker creating a Piercing Darkness? That's pretty cool. Oh, I'm one short from having Senna be able to cast that Darkness we would create. Next round, 7, 8, 9, 10. Okay. Root out magic! That was a good last card to have. All right, so my plan was Senna. <sighs> yeah, we kind of need to go Senna. So then next round, we're going to have nine mana. So we're going to have enough for Piercing Darkness and Regular Darkness. We drain five. There's a lot of darkness out there. Let's make some of our own. So we use these two things to kill Rek'Sai. Which, I could let them Rek'Sai attack. Rek'Sai goes to 9 power. We use both of these on the Xer'Sai Dune Breaker. We just block Rek'Sai normally. I can't risk them going to 10, right? Because they go to 10 if they have another one of those, like, plus 2, plus 0 cards that we just saw. Or if they hit a, if it's a Rek'Sai on top, it goes to 10. And then the Rek'Sai levels up, and we just can't really risk that happening. Okay, so now this is kind of the question of to block or not to block. Five's not very much health. I don't know. Five's not very much health. Come on, we're on the clock. Spirits ain't gonna free themselves. They shouldn't. Eight mana. Take a look at this. All right. Um, hopefully, we hit Radiant Guardian. Remembrance. Black Spear. That's interesting. Can a spirit fight to the death? Think 
can all learn soon. So the box is like my best card to play. Because then we kill both of those things. But then we don't have our Black Spear enabled anymore. This Overwhelm is just pretty rough. So I kind of need to like Black Spear that right now. And then they open attack. I Darkness kill it. But then we take six from one of these. Oh, man, we are just in such a bad spot. Yeah, I don't... We're in such a bad spot, I guess. Kind of no matter what, we lose to an open attack. Yeah, either way, we lose to an open attack. Like we, we could maybe draw it. You know, we can draw some stuff. This gives us some outs drawing. And, okay, never mind. I forgot about this going up to a 5-5. Five five. So now that it goes up to a 5-5... Five five, you know, 9 Overwhelm. Um, you know, 9 minus 5 is 4, so that doesn't kill us. If they just open attack and hit Lurk once. Okay. So, two of those things. Healer Nexus 7, draw a card. So otherwise, it's 18 Overwhelm. I block 10, yeah. So, this is still... Still 18 overwhelm, I block 8, so 10. Yeah, we still stay alive. Barely. Ugh. Miss. Alright, they didn't miss. So 18 minus 8 is 10, I go down to 2. Oh, now this costs 3. Black Spear. Demacia sends its regards. Regards. We know that's a lurker. And this Black Spear has just been so uh, so rough. It's been so close to like what we need, but just not quite. Yes, challenger. That's what we need was a challenger. Okay. So we get to kill one with the challenger, kill the other with the final spark. We had to hit a challenger. Okay, so we actually, uh, you know, we, we ran into some, some good luck there. You know, some good fortune. And uh, we had some strong stuff going on there. So we ended up going 5-0 and with this Senna Lux version of this Mage Seeker Sentinels. Uh, these Sentinel Seekers. Um, they this The Sentinels and the Seekers were all just like, you know, pretty good units that just helped fill in the curve. And of course, our two champions were both really powerful, creating darknesses and creating final sparks and stuff like that. But, you know, with, with having two powerful five mana champions, kind of the problem with these is, you know, how are you stopping the early game? What are you doing uh, besides these two champions and everything like that? And these Sentinels and Mage Seekers were both very good for us um, of just, you know, f filling out the curve and effect in the board and you know being big fearsomes uh for cheap mana mage seeker conservator was awesome creating those random six plus cost spells they were very useful at different times like we saw that that last game getting that uh ritual renewal very useful and remembrance being able to play this on three getting um you know good bodies you know good like five five toughs and stuff like that uh really helped slow opponents down and, and helped enable these mage seekers Piercing Darkness was pretty good. We did run into a, a match like where we faced some 6-6s six and stuff. Where the Drain 5 was kind of sad, but overall it was good. The Vengeance was nice. Um, the one card I was kind of a little dis disappointed in was that Black Spear, right? Like it, was, it was like it was so close to being exactly what we wanted, but not quite. I could see a little bit more like Unspeakable Horror Vile Feast maybe instead. Maybe not. I liked having that one of Catalog. That was just a good, nice little one of that helped us outgrind some people. So good little deck. All right, so there's Sentinel Seekers. Those of y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button over there and leave those comments. Hopefully y'all enjoyed this meme tier deck. Let me know how, how it goes if you play it yourself or if you got any other ideas or anything like that. Hopefully y'all are enjoying it. And of course, we you know are just finding out today. You know, I'm sure by the time this goes up on YouTube, y'all will already know about um, the Path of Champions, the new game mode. We got Jace. All that, that looks awesome. Let me know what you think in the comment section. What do you want me to play right away with that new game mode? But that's going to be it, though, for Sentinel Seekers. So thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you for the next video.